Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisha, if you are new. Today I thought I would do a little vlog style apartment tour. I've been getting quite a bit of emails asking specifically for apartments that are under 200 square feet um, and that they couldn't really understand how to find them. So if you're looking for a tiny apartment in New York City, the listing is never going to say tiny apartment. Like that's not, nobody actually wants to advertise it that way. It would literally just be a studio, but it's up to you if you're looking by yourself to go to each place to figure out if it's technically a tiny apartment or small enough for you if that's what you're looking for. Or you need to work with a broker who sees a lot of apartments, who knows you know, what is small and then what's like really small. So if you don't mind, since today is actually my day to run errands, I am going to go about my day, do what I have to do and find a couple of places that are on the way. But if any of them are listed publicly, I will leave the links to the management companies or the broker that is representing that apartment specifically in the description below. So I'm gonna get some food. I have to go to Best Buy. I've got a lot of things to do today, but if you're ready, let's go. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking it. First stop is going to Salvation Army to donate a couple of clothes. I'm trying to do it little by little. Every time I find something that I want to donate, I usually go to Goodwill closer to me, but since I am showing you guys a place, the first one is here in Midtown West. So I figured I'd go to Salvation Army first, donate some clothes, and then take you to the apartment. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did you pay? What's your plan? Is it play? Wanna play? How to play? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pay? What's your plan? Is it play? Wanna play? How to play? I'm just playing. Uh, a be by Joby, feel like Obi Wan Kenobi, cause I'm a star and they can't hold me like I'm Kobe in the fall. So, we have reached the first stop on our tour, and I know what you're thinking, this is not an apartment. On my last apartment tour where there was no bathroom, we had tons of comments saying, you can't really call it an apartment because it doesn't have its own bathroom. And technically, that is correct. This is a room for rent. The reason that I'm including this room for rent technically in this tour is because I have gotten messages where people say they don't care if a room has a bathroom or a kitchen, they just want a place to stay and they don't want to share with another person in an actual apartment. So this is technically a room for rent, but you sign a lease with a management company just like you would any other management company. You don't have any roommates. It's definitely a small room, so you can't get around that. The width is around five and a half feet and the length of the room is about 11 and a half. 11, 11 and a half. So you're looking at 55 square feet, which you would have to fit a bed, a dresser, there's no closet, and then some sort of place to put a microwave or something so that you can cook. Unless you eat out, we're in house kitchen, so if you eat out a lot and it's not a big deal, then this is kind of perfect for you. Before we go, I know you're gonna to wanna to know the price. It's pretty cheap. It's nowhere as expensive as any of the other tiny apartments I've shown you, so to get your own space, not have to live with roommates, just a bedroom, shared bath. This apartment is 1050. That 1050 includes the utilities, so you don't pay for internet, you don't pay for heat, water, or electricity, so that is all included. I think that's a pretty good deal. Are you guys a bit happier with that as opposed to the $1,600 one, right? A little bit better? Yes, no? Okay, let's head to the next one. got the keys let's go the one thing I love about this block the management company owns like almost every building on this block but because it's so far east it's going to be right by the water
Okay, I don't know if you were able to hear me outside because of the wind, but we are in the East 70s between York and East End Avenue. Now traditionally that would be too far for most people because you only have the six train at that point, but now we have the second Avenue line, which I believe is a Q, I've only taken it one time. The Q train, which is on second Avenue, means that East End and York Avenue is really not that far of a walk anymore. Now this is definitely something I would consider another micro studio, but the good thing about this is, number one, it has its own kitchen and it has its own bathroom, so it is a true apartment. But two, the living space is separate, at least from your dressing space, so there is a big closet on the other side and you can kind of leave all your clothes there, get dressed there. So if you have people over, you have a little bit of space, you know, if you want to change or get ready and then come back out into the main space. That's at least something that this place has going for it. One thing that I like they did is they put in a bunch of shelves all over. You can put your keys, your phone, and some little trinkets on this here. And then we walk into the main space and they've added more of the shelves here. And you can add some more if you wanted to, get some extra wood to put stuff there. And you can do stuff like bath products, anything that would fit on a small ledge. And then walking more down the hall, you have the full closet. It's kind of doubled and goes back there as well. So that's pretty big. And then when you turn around before you get to the bathroom, there's another closet. You've got a total of four closets. And then you head into the bathroom. And I like this management company because most of their bathrooms have windows in it and it's something i've only had one time and i wish i had it natural light in the bathroom i love you may or may not be wondering where the kitchen is but believe me i will show it to you you've been looking at it this whole time the kitchen is closed behind these doors such a small change that could seem insignificant as to just putting doors in front of the kitchen i think really makes a big difference so if you're going to have your bed in here which you would have to you don't want to actually be looking at the kitchen. You can just throw everything in there and close it completely. Just calculating the price for you guys because this management company is giving one month free if you come on your own, if you sign a 12 month lease, that's without a broker, you come by yourself. So the actual rent is $17.25, but with a one month free on a 12 month lease, the actual rent comes out to $1581.25. So with the main space where you would put mainly your bed, you're looking at about 100 square feet. And then for the hallways and the kitchen, the closets and the bathroom, you're looking at about another 100 square feet. So for almost $1,600, you're getting around 200 square feet. You're getting gas, electricity, heat and hot water included. So you're not paying any utilities other than your internet. To be in Manhattan below 96th Street, if that's where you wanna be, let me know if you guys think almost 1600 to have your own kitchen and bathroom is a good deal. Okay, there's a reason why I don't do apartment tours in the summer, and that is because it is just too hot. And by the time you get into the apartment, most of these places do not have AC. So I am going to get some food because I'm very hungry now. Go to Best Buy, and I will see you guys in another one. <laughs>